Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Planet Crafter. We are still on Planet Humble and things are going pretty well. We've unlocked a lot of stuff and in today's episode we are going to start getting things a little bit more organized and automated. I have T3 ore extractors, I have a little bit of spare power. I have access to be able to make pulsars so I can add more power which means I'm probably going to have to mine the things that are needed for pulsars. Although I did pick up quite a lot of cosmic quartz uh, and... They've delivered pretty well, except for pulsars, but that's okay. I believe there are quite a few more cosmic quartzes around the map. I don't know how many there are, but uh, I think I've only found like eight or nine. But we'll pick them up as we go right now. Not terribly important. I would like to get to the portal generator, but for that I'm going to need lots of other stuff because that's probably where I'm going to find energy fuses and lots of terror tokens to be able to buy the really important things, like T2 storages. Anyway, lot to do. Let's get stuck in. All right, first recap. Uh, we are at 208 GTI. Things are progressing pretty well. Um, I'm kind of slowing things down a bit. Uh, obviously, heat and pressure will increase because we have access to the tier 5 heaters right now, but not quite to the tier 5 drills. Those are coming extremely soon. We also have the insect spreader rockets, which could boost things. I'm not going to do those yet because we need these T2 beehives. Oh, we just got some terror tokens. Oh, those are the, the rods that I sent up. Cool. There it comes. It's on its way back. Good. But what I really want to do, let's check our power situation. We have 1,726 kilowatts and I need to build a whole bunch of these. So firstly, let's just pop upstairs to the bio lab and we can have a look at what we need. So we need osmium, zeolite, iridium and uranium, no problem, and methane. So that is pretty straightforward stuff. I will need a tier 3 mine in the zeolite area. I will need a tier 3 mine in the osmium area and then one in the uraninite area i'll start reorganizing these crushes so that i can kind of ratio things i don't mind if the mine overproduces compared to what the crushes do we'll start small and then we'll build up as we go so let me get the stuff together for three tier three miners and those need osmium rods super alloy rods iridium rods and a bunch of titanium and it's just a good thing i managed to collect so many of these things before we got going now those are each going to use almost 300 energy, so that'll be 900 of our 1700 used up. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on that. Luckily I have the crushers built, so I'm just going to break down ones that I'm not using over here. So let's start in the Osbium cave. Right, so the first one, we'll clip it onto that one. This one I'm going to break down. Uh, do I have enough space? Probably not. Okay, it's going to stay up for a bit. Although, you know, if there's a pile of stuff lying here, I'm not too concerned. Let's grab what we can, the important stuff first. And this is going to not let me break it down because it's still got stuff in the inventory. Yeah, all right, well, it's staying. It's okay, we'll we'll survive. And then on the way to the zeolite, we're just going to stop in to the uraninite cave. And this place is really at a bad angle. Let's see if it'll go in. Oh, that's blocking it, weird. All right, it, it goes in. Yeah, going to be a bit uh, strange laying these out. Oh, and I forgot to do that on the first one back to osmium cave and see if i can take a shortcut through here yeah and there we'll set this recipe to the osmium nice oh there's some floaty stuff over here all right uh, i've never actually built a mine in here so i'm going to just assume that this is a zeolite area and pop that in over there can we do zeolite yes we can okay let's save here cool all right well those are in but now i don't want to be running back and forward to collect the stuff out of these uh, miners that would just be a pain in the butt so i'm gonna come over here and i don't have enough iron on me so let me collect some iron and it looks like we're having one of those oh my goodness i have so many of these super alloy storms i'm actually not even going to bother with this one all right that storm is finally finished and i've managed to gather all the stuff that i need so i'm going to head over here and i think I think I was going to do it on that side. I kind of changed my mind. I'm going to do it over here because I might expand the base arts in that direction. Or maybe I'll move this later. But what I'm going to do, and it's very expensive, is put down a drone station. Now you can see it uses a fusion energy cell. That uses three pulsar quartz all on its own. So uh, pretty expensive. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get more more pulsar but we need this to make pulsar so that's what we're going to do we'll put the drone station in i'm going to turn it because i would like to have them back to back and i'll just 
difficult to place correctly. So for now, it's going to go just like that. And then we need to come in here and we can get T1 drones. So rocket engines, iron and circuit boards. I have a few. I'll start with just 10. We, we're starting small. We'll build up. We have none at the moment and nothing in the storage. Uh, this storage is actually just for, for drones when they're not busy doing anything. So uh, don't worry too much about that. And fortunately, I do have a huge amount of rocket engines. I am a little short on iron though. So we'll have to do something about that soon. Oh, and while I'm running around clearing out stuff that I don't need on me, uh, there are these production fuses. I don't intend to use production fuses for a long time, if ever, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck them in the rocket and send them off and we can get some Terra tokens for them because these are valuable, 5,000 each. And we'll just launch. That'll be another 15,000 Terra tokens coming in. Fabulous. All right, well, Knights has fallen. Uh, let's pop in here and we're going to make 10 of these. And they should all be sitting in here because they don't have a job. So that's fine. I am going to... Well, first of all, if you haven't played before or you're not sure about the drones, what's going to happen here now is every single container is now going to have this little gear. And when you click on it, that container could supply or demand pretty much anything in the game. What will happen is if we set, for example, let's, let's do Osmium for, for the first one. And we set that one to demand osmium. And then we head out to the osmium mine. We can go into the into the mine and we can say, okay, supply. Now I did take a couple out because there's something else I want to do here. And we're going to supply osmium from this mine. So we will have a couple of drones come over and pick up some osmium. But these are tier one drones, so they're a little slow. Not a big problem. Oh, there they come. Two little drones, and they are going to pick up the osmium and take it back to the container. Good. All right, now I still need to take this down, and it's full again. Oh, my word. Okay, I'm dumping stuff. I do want to keep the iron on me because we need iron. But now this must go. Oh, no, it's already got another one. There we go. Take that down, and this is going to drop stuff. Yep, right where I want to build. All right, that should be good. We'll pick these up. And I'm going to put down a little foundation now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the foundation on this side because I feel like there are going to be more machines. And I'm even tempted to put it at the back. Let's see if I can fit one in here. Yes. Okay, so this, this is going to come out and will be replaced with another miner at some point. But I want to put down an autocrafter. And that autocrafter I will place over here. It has a good range, so I could put a few miners around and it'll pick them all up. And I'm going to set that to make osmium rods. And it immediately makes one. And I'm going to set that to supply osmium rods. Now, in this case, um, it will supply and it will deliver. And I've used this sort of formula on, on my other builds where I'm not having a dedicated extractor to send only osmium rods or super alloy rods or whichever rods to the base. I'm, I'm allowing it to to basically back up the the normal osmium at the base and make the rods at the same time one of them will back up first and then the other one will catch up so i'm not too worried uh th this setup is quite fine for now but now i have used a lot of power so i'm gonna have to go back and just have a look at uh, how the power situation is going and i'm still slacking on the food it's really bad okay power yep we are very very low so we have to be very careful what we do now anyway zeolite uh we have a chest for zeolite. I can set this to oh, fifteen thousand terra tokens gain. That's nice. Set that to zeolite. That's demanding. Um, osmium rods. I'm going to tell this to demand osmium rods. How many did I have in here? And I hope I set that auto crafter to supply. Can't actually remember if I did. Easy way to check quickly. I can just pop out over here and see if there are any drones out at the moment. Yep. Okay. There's one out. I don't know what it's doing. But I'm hoping that it's going to fetch an osmium rod. Right, now I need to head over to the zeolite. Set this one to supply zeolite. And the drones will come and get that. I see we're at 239 GTI. So we may actually be close to be able to do something. Which means I need to make a purchase. I'm going to buy two energy cells. It's going to cost me a little bit. But we need them. Energy multiplier. I'm going to get two of those the cost is 12,000 launch all right so those will come back soon enough 
and I can just carry on setting things up around here. All right, now I did say that I was going to put my main production area somewhere around here. That butterfly dome is going to move because I want to put a platform down in this area. And I'll get a, a few down because this is where things are going to start getting a little tricky and we're going into... Oh, look at all those look at all those drones taking the zeolite in nice yeah i've i've not i have not done this before with the crushers and we need to set up super alloy rods which actually require bauxite to make aluminium and then also uraninite to make the super alloy with other stuff so it's going to be a bit of a challenge oh we can make serena butterfly lovers now cool and i'm gonna to have to figure that out now i can't build another auto crafter as yet but I do think I'm getting close to being able to make my own pulsar quartz. So and I'm gonna need to pick up methane and there's no methane, it's all nitrogen. I need to build a I need to build the T2 gas extractor, but that uses energy that I don't have. So I'm gonna have to make do with what I've got. And I do have methane. So we're gonna pick up some iridium. Uh just six of them. I've got I've got the zeolite, the uranium. I actually need one more iridium and there was one other thing of course the osmium and then I'll just shoot upstairs we won't have to do this for very long eventually I will get an auto crafter to do this stuff but I've made six of them I think I only needed five but I made six because you know it's always good to have a spare we go and pick up some super alloy four of them and then head over to our little power room over here and put down another fusion reactor good now we have power I think what I'll do is I'll just put down an auto crafter in the bottom area. That should be okay, I think. Can't really tell from here, but yep, that's as tight as it's going to get. And then I can set this to make whatever I want in this area because pretty much everything is in reach. If I wanted to make more pulsars, I would, but I've just, uh, I have just haven't quite finished the rest of the setup as yet. But I'll drop this whoop, wrong chest. Right. Drop that pulsar off. Oh yes, I may need to get rid of those circuit boards, put them somewhere else. And we've just unlocked the uh, T5 drill. Boy, things are picking up. I don't have the materials to put the T5 heater in yet. Uh, those materials I'm using for, for building and the drill as well. So those will wait, but we will get to them fairly soon. And the portal generator has been unlocked. So I'm just running around picking up stuff for a new mine. And I'm going to head into the bauxite area and put down another tier 3 mine. And I'll just put that over here for now and set that to bauxite. Awesome. Oh, this crusher can come down actually. Uh, what's in here? Oh, aluminium. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to need to bring a shredder over here to get rid of all of this. There's bauxite and aluminium. Actually, what the heck? We're going to leave this here for now. I'll just let the bauxite do its thing. But I could be saving power by taking it down. Anyway, I've got power. And before I forget, this needs to supply the bauxite. And I'm going to use an auto crafter over here. I'm uh, not sure where it's going to be situated. But for now, it's just going to sit over there. I need to just get myself organized with the crushers. All right, let's, uh, let's continue. Put down a few more platforms. And I have broken down two of the crushers. So I think I'll start by putting one crusher over here. And what I may do is like over here, I have dolomite, bauxite, and uraninite, and I'll just line them up. So as many as I need as time as is required. All right, so this one I'm going to set to supply. No, wait, actually, I'm gonna set this one to demand bauxite. And the drones should head off soon. There they go. All right, good. Then this one over here, we're going to set that to demand uraninite. All right, now this is going to produce stuff. And I may just end up having a couple of these, but I'm going to break this one down and I'm going to move it to a bit more central. Uh, we'll put it over there. That way we can have some more if we need to. This I'm going to set to make super alloy rods because the uraninite is going to come in here and it's going to make... The super alloys with a couple of other things. Oh, that's right. I do need a oh, that's right. I do need a couple more of these. Uh let me go see if I've got power for it and pick up the stuff. Yeah, I've got enough power. So I can build two more. I have a couple upstairs that I'm not using that I can move if I if I really have to. Right, so let's get another one in over there and another one over here. 
Okay, now this is making these. I need to make sure they are supplied. This one, oh, I need to have some food and water by the looks of things. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get on top of the food situation. I'm, I'm slacking. Where am I going? All right, uh, so this one will do. Iridium rods, and I will supply them. And this one will do uranium rods, and I will supply them. Right, how are we doing here? We don't have anything in stock yet. I don't, I think, I think we maybe just don't have enough. Unless I didn't set that to supply uraninite. Sure, it did. May have to check. I'll keep an eye on that anyway. Auxite is in. So these will work, and I need to go and set those containers to accept those. So iridium, demand uranium rods, uranium rods, demand uranium rods, super alloy rods, demand super alloy rods. As you know, the bauxite is going to make the aluminium, and the super alloy will come from the uraninite if it eventually arrives. I've set it to demand. Okay, let me go and have a look at what's going on in the cave. Okay, it's making it. Um, I didn't set it to supply. Cake. All right, well, that's sorted out. Well, while I'm here, let me clear this out and remove this. Oh, gosh. I'm going to drop the cobalt because it's less valuable right now than the uranium rods. All right, so that'll work now. And I can just go and drop a bit of the uranium out in the chest. There go all the drones. Fantastic. All right, drop those off. What's going to happen here is because these don't only produce the... Uh, the stuff shown in the picture in other words the uraninite produces more than just the uranium the iridium and the super alloy it has iron and even some dolomite in it actually um i should put the third one in so long but anyway we're gonna have a bit of a problem because this is gonna get jammed up with stuff that we don't really need so i'm gonna have to work out some kind of a system with a shredder that will handle priorities so the way I think it's going to work right now is, and I might have put these the wrong way around. Ah, no, it's fine. So what will happen is these machines will immediately take what comes out of the, the crushers. The drones will come along and take out other stuff that I've set uh, demand on. So on these crushers, I can say supply everything. Let's see, hold on. Supply everything. There we go. So now that's going to supply everything that comes out of that crusher. And so will this. Then if I've got the material, nope, I need an explosive powder, which I now have. So I will put this down, uh, just pop it in the corner out of the way. And I'm going to set this one to demand. Let's see. Um, oh, this is a bit of a tough one. I'm going to have to do all of them. So everything that's going to come out of these machines that could basically clog the machine up. But I need to change the priority to a minus one so that the boxes that are demanding it are getting it first. And then I can say, all right, well, let's enable automatic destruction when the box is full. Now, I don't want to get rid of those because I kind of need iron now. I have no idea if this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot. That means that these should never get clogged up. Now, I need to get that other crusher going as well. So let me go and empty myself out. All right, I do need to still go and set up the sulfur because that's going to be important for the bio stuff upstairs. So super alloy will demand just super alloy right there. Uranium, demand uranium, iridium, demand iridium, sulfur. Now, it's a bit of a pain because I'm going to have to go through and do all of this again. So we'll demand iron in the iron container. Now, these already, whoops, I don't want to do that. These have a priority of zero. We can up them. So the higher the number, the higher the priority. And I'm not sure if the distance matters. I hope it doesn't, but uh, that's the, the highest priority. So Hopefully, what will happen is the iron will come into here before it gets put into the shredder. So I'll just keep going through these and setting them. And that's that done. So these basic ones are done. Um, these are all done. Osmium is done. Zeolite is done. I need to get an obsidian mine sorted out. And then we'll set that to demand. Obsidian. Uh, this is fabric, so it'll demand fabric. And then we're going to set these up. So that will demand oxygen, methane, nitrogen, and this will demand the bioplastic nuggets. Okay, so all of these chests, uh, well, all the chests on this side have been sorted out, and the ones at the end for the gases have been sorted out. Speaking of gases, I'm going to need a lot of methane soon. It's dark again, imagine. All right, now I'm pushing limits again. Um, I need to, I need to set up the gas extractors. I've got enough for three, uh, I've got 740 power, this is going to be about 650. 
haven't quite decided where I'm going to put them. There's a nice empty area outside over here. Maybe I'll do that over... Yeah, I'll do it over here. So we'll put three rows in and I'll start on this side with the oxygen because this is the one we lead, need least. Then nitrogen and then methane because I just need a... Well, actually, it doesn't really matter between these two. I should have more than enough space to get as many as I need in. So oxygen and set it to supply. Oxygen. This one we'll do. Let's just do methane over here and supply methane right there. And this will be nitrogen and supply nitrogen good that's that sorted out and then i'll just go and set i think i have have i i've set those already i have okay so those demands are set i'm going to need more methane so there will be more methane extractors there'll be more nitrogen as well oxygen we don't really need that many so there might only be one maybe a second all right let's go and see if things are filling up a lot over here right this is looking really good we've just got aluminium and it is a bit of a problem because this box is now filling up. It is set to supply all. Um, I don't. Well, look, this this is the main product to come out of here is aluminium. So I don't mind if it fills up this chest with aluminium. This one, on the other hand, don't really want it to fill up anything. So I'm going to have to go and break down another one of those crushers. Actually, I've got one in the bauxite area that I don't need anymore. I must just take a shredder with me. Right, let's do some shredding. Shred it down over here. Grab everything out of there. I don't even want the aluminium. Kind of do want to keep the iron though. Okay, good. Now I can take that crusher down. Great. Um, let's have a look. What have we got in here? I'll take that and also do some shredding. Get rid of that other mine as well. That's empty now and boom, gone. Okay, well, I'll take the titanium because we do use that quite a lot. And then I can go and set up the crusher for the dolomite. All right, uh, let's get that nicely centered. Pop it in, set this to demand dolomite, set this to supply everything, and that should get us sorted. Now, how's this doing? It's doing stuff, I think. Um, it appears to be working. Things are getting cleaned out. The dolomite's being taken out of there as well. Awesome. I'm a bit worried about this backing up because uh, it will block other things coming in, but the other machines are making those things. So, no, can't say I'm concerned. Look at that. Well, that's getting stuff. Why is it so little? I'll put some more in. That's doing well. Maybe because this is moving so quickly. All right, so this takes an item every 70 seconds and produces five. Okay, let's see what the miners do. So the miners take 75 seconds. So the crushers work slightly faster than the miners. Okay, well, that's fine. Not too stressed about that at all. That that can happen. I would prefer if the miners were the same speed or faster, but uh, it's fine. Okay, so that's that side of things done. And this is working, and these will fill up. Is this supplying everything? Maybe this should supply everything. It is supplying everything. I wonder why they aren't going in here. Stuff is going in here. Maybe it's just the lack of drones. They are very, very busy. So maybe an idea to get a few more. Let's head over here. We've got some some cash available. So there's our two energy multiplier fuses. Those are going to become important very shortly, actually. I do really want to get the tier two storage locker blueprint. But oh, the drone. Look at that. I only need a little bit more. Um, tell you what, I'm going to start demanding. Actually, I've got another container full of iridium rods that I don't need. I don't know if it's going to be enough. But let me go and offload what I don't need with me right now. Oh, look at that. Our iron chest is full. Ah, huh. right, so this is the one that's got to go. I don't know if this is going to get me over the line, but I'm going to launch it anyway. But these are worth six terror tokens and there's 25. Yeah, that's not very much. It's like 150, but uh, it's, it's, it adds. So yeah, it's 150. All right, well, we'll send it off. And we'll just keep an eye on this spot to make sure that everything is working. These are not being cleared out. I don't know why. Maybe it's just too fast. I'm going to put some more drones in. Yep, that looks like everything I need. So we'll up this to 20 drones. Just like that. Good. Now all of these guys should start doing stuff. Now it's surprising that there are drones sitting around when there is stuff in boxes that needs to move. Oh, right. Okay. I think I need to add those... That seems like a terrible waste, but it's going to stop this from clogging up. There we go. Everything's getting moved. So these boxes should be empty. Yeah, even this one, but I'm not too concerned about the aluminium. 
It's good to have it. These machines are doing their thing. Oh, you know what might be a problem is they're going to empty the stuff out too quickly. Hmm. Yeah, we don't want that to happen, actually. I'm going to... Oh, uh, sure, but I have to remove all of them to be able to fix this up. Yeah, you see, the, the reason that these should actually not get emptied out, and I'm going to put them back, is because you need nine. You need nine iridium ore and nine uranium ore to make a rod. And if you're taking them out too quickly, the rods will never get made. Same applies to the super alloy rods, which need eight plus an aluminium. So yeah, that's that's a bad idea to remove those. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to work this so that this doesn't get choked up. All right, well, everything's working. We have 20 drones now. And it also means that I've automated everything that I need to make pulsar. So I'm going to do this. Now, this is not the best idea because... These guys are going to want to put it in this chest, but I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to delete that for now. It can, this will be the chest, but I don't want to overproduce and put too much pressure right now. We will upscale things, but look at that. There's more power right there. Straight into the power room and pop another one down. Now you may ask yourself why I'm setting it up like this. And the reason is because optimizers, the tier two optimizers can reach eight machines. And if I put eight of them, like one in each corner and one in the middles, I can put a whole bunch of optimizers in here, put fuses in them, and they'll reach all of these machines and boost them, and I'll never need more than eight of these. So once I've got eight, I don't have to spend any more pulsar quarters on power, hopefully. Ah, well, uh, that looks like it's clearing things out quite nicely. Oh, yes, because I made some pulsars. Ah, that's going to work nicely. So the pulsars actually clear out the normal ores. Okay, that's good. That works. And as we go along, I might be able to refine what comes out of the, the boxes at the end and what gets trashed. But for now, this is working. And we have a whole bunch of glowy white trees over there. That looks quite nice. And we have unlocked the ability to make Provius fish eggs. Now, I'm not going to get into the fish just yet, because there's a trick to that as well that I hope works. But I do need to go upstairs and I need to set some boxes to to fill themselves so i know this is already full but algae that's going to demand the algae and i'm just going to run through all of these and set the demands you don't have to oh gosh what am i doing you don't have to set the supply on farms and algae generators because that uh, happens automatically i have beans up here because this isn't going to be the final food anymore so we'll demand beans and we should see some drones bring some beans and demand honey yeah i just saw the the drones flash by so there we go we got some i am going to set these little farms to supply honey and i may keep a few of these around uh, because the other ones also produce bees and that is also a supply problem uh causing things to get backed up but yeah just just like we did with that we can set up a, a shredder to to balance things out all right, so we should be getting stuff upstairs. Uh, let's go and have a look at our power situation at the moment. We are, yeah, we're okay. We're good. Everything is is here. It's not moving very fast, but I don't really care that much. We are 62% of the way to amphibians. But once everything here is set up, uh, things will get moving a lot faster. And I've got to do a lot of tidying up. All right, so uh, upstairs, uh, this side, I think this side is going to be all the, the mutagens. So we'll start with this and we'll say, I want you to make bacteria. And then I want you to make mutagen tier one. Cool. There's 150 terror tokens. I want you to make fertilizer tier one. Okay, good. And these should get emptied out. Oh, unless I haven't set the... Oh, you know what might be happening? This this one I know is full. Let's have a... Uh, maybe you haven't set those demands on the storages yet. But I am going to just put one more in so i actually could put a whole bunch in up here now i will set the food container to demand high quality food grab myself a super alloy rod osmium rods are holding up so that's good this is just going to be a temporary one just to keep me going and we'll set that to make high quality food there you go that's working yeah it's not in the right place but that's fine it's that's gonna move and there are going to be a whole bunch of uh, these machines in here. Okay, bacteria. Yeah, I haven't set these to demand yet. So let me do that. And demand 
Mutagen. Wait, what is that? That's tier two. Have I not unlocked it? Huh, apparently not, because I've got Mutagen tier three on the list, but not tier two. All right, well, when that gets unlocked, we'll set the demand. And then I will do a catch all box somewhere, probably over here when we eventually get that right. And I've emptied all of these out. Still some work to do. All right, so that, that's ticking over. I think that's actually giving us everything that we need. I will obviously have to put more farms, more algae generators. Oh yeah, the water collectors. That's going to become a problem. Where did I put them? Out over here. I've only got one. I should probably do another. We'll set this to just uh, supply all. It's only going to supply water, but it's easier than looking for the water. And then our water container over here will be set to demand water. And let me get those out. Put them with the food. We can set this to demand explosives. Can we? Yes, we can. All right, well, there's a couple of ship doors that we haven't opened yet. Let's see. Mutagen tier four. Backpack tier six. All right, I think in the next episode, we're going to hit the portals. Uh, and then we'll definitely get to backpack tier six. Everything else is finished. We're doing well across here, so that's great. Then we're going to get to the Guerrero fish eggs, the T2 aquariums. Those are pretty cool. Not sure how I'm going to work with them in this area, but we'll see. There's the animal spreader rocket. The animal spreader rocket. Is that new? I don't remember seeing that before. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I did. I just forgot. There's the mutagen tier 2 at 50 tons of insects. All right. Well, I'm a bit behind on insects, apparently. But that doesn't matter because there are a couple of ship doors that have not been opened. And in order to open them, I need to make myself some fusion cells. Now, I think it was only one each. I hope it was only one each because I think it was the big ship that we, we did. So there's the small... Oh, now, which one did I do? man was it the big one or the small one anyway it doesn't matter we're first gonna go uh should take food and water with me all right now bit of a problem the water is going to become a hassle not really a problem because i can drink out of the lakes but all the water is being used to make the stuff upstairs and i should eat Ooh, it was close uh we have a bit of food what is the hold up there it's in here it's not supplying that's what good that's fixed now all right, well, now that we're sorted, uh, let's head out to that smuggler's wreck. All right, and in we go. This is quite a cool ship. I like the red. It's pretty nice. All right, now, if I remember correctly, it was upstairs. Yep, there it is. And it takes one. Excellent. Let's see which doors it opened. All three of them. Nice. Oh, <gasps> terror tokens. And there's an energy multiplier. Oh my gosh. Okay, good stuff. Man, I should have opened this one earlier. So much good stuff. We'll take that. This was... Ooh, hang on, where are we going? Oh, it's, a, it's another whole area here. All right, what do we got in here? More spacesuits? Dablo. Uh, anything? Uh, well, we'll go down this way first. Gee whiz. Oh, this has been good. And we've got Pulsar. Look at that. Finally. Need the rockets. Need the circuit boards. Oh, yes. I need to go to the Obsidian and set up a mine. All right. Oh, my gosh. And we're not finished and we're almost full. So what special surprises are we going to get down here? That's some more servers and another and another pulsar and more stuff. Okay, I don't need that. So I can grab that and that. All the stuff that's kind of uh, hard to to make right now. I don't think I'm going to need obsidian very much. Anything else? I'm full up on fertilizer, so I can take the circuit board. We're not making those yet. And then there's more servers I could break down if I if I wanted to, and I don't really want to. So wow. That that was really good. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here and head back to base. That was a good haul, I must say. Especially the, the energy multiplier fuses; those are very valuable. Look at that, four energy multipliers. So I'm going to be multiplying energy soon. Okay, I have a fusion cell, and I have the stuff on me to make a T3 ore extractor. Good, got enough power to power it if I need to. And there's a ship out there, so I hope it only needs one fusion cell so i'm gonna head out to the obsidian area oh you know what i'm being very silly i'm going out in that direction i might as well take another one for the sulfur that way it's just one trip all right so i'm going to swing up to the sulfur side first and just put down that extractor right where the other one is and eventually i'll come back and clean up and that's in we will then set it to sulfur and we'll set it to supply sulfur so that one is set right next and of course it's dark again keeps doing that to me but this is where we're mining obsidian so we can put 
that there and obviously yes we'll clean that up this is going to do obsidian and it's going to supply obsidian right there so that's set up i'm going to grab a drink and i'm going to head over to that ship and nighttime doesn't make a difference on what it looks like inside all right i think i did collect everything out of the ship but ah i'm getting the feeling that i'm at the wrong ship you know this one didn't actually need a a fusion cell it was the one it was the procedural one up north yes all right i remember now so i'm gonna head to that one and what the heck i'll drive i don't know it feels faster maybe it's just because it's more fun wow it's more fun until you get into this area wow it's a little bit busy here now we almost tight okay that's where i'm going all right let's get in and see what's going on torch light good grief the flare's still burning okay it was this way i think yep there it is that one's already got the energy okay my memory is failing me obviously i've got the wrong one which means that it might actually be the big ship and that means that i'm going to need two energy cells i better go head over there and just confirm that wow it's getting very tight in here and this place is looking even lighter now look at that really quite pretty all right i'm here let's confirm um all right i think it's all the way down here yep it's two that we need all right so let me go and grab those two or rather just grab another one and then i'll come back let's see if i can take the scenic route Ooh, that's <laughs> pretty nice get anywhere you want to go as fast as you can that's gonna hurt all right in we go let's get the stuff all right and there's the second fusion cell and back we go and we're back and i'll just fly in just to remind myself where the closed doors are actually i'm not even sure they must be past the yes i think they're on that side let's have a look okay so there's one there's another all right so it's just those two let's hope it opens both of them and gives me some good loot all right open says me and it's only the one oh well, there's a long passage down there so uh stuff i don't really want oh, i've got so many iridium rods oh you know what they can be sold what do we got another blueprint chip oh, don't even know why i'm taking it all right a uh, little bit of stuff in here that's useful oh i've all this plant well that's that's nice first one i've seen of those and one of these and more energy multiplier fuses we're gonna have so much power terra tokens quite a few of them nice and another space suit uh, oh good stuff uh what's what's important what's more important i'm gonna leave the iron behind and the dolomite i really don't need that we'll take those i'll keep the blueprint chips just in case maybe the updates one day and brings new stuff to unlock but that is the end of the road so as a matter of interest look at that twenty-four thousand terra tokens <laughs> ah you're gonna get more stuff all right uh that's that well that was that wasn't bad i mean we didn't get many pulsars not enough to replace all the pulsars that we used to make the fusion cells but that doesn't matter because we don't have a problem with them anymore but uh let's do a very quick trip back uh let's see if i can do it without destroying myself hey look at that oh that's gonna get stuck no it's not in just a split second we are back and i did manage to roll it finally it doesn't roll very easily all right so we will park it we'll get out go and offload the goodies now to be honest there's not a lot more to explore i will have to take some time eventually to go and explore that island down in the south a little bit more right so as i said i have i have energy multiplier fuses and i have unlocked backpack tier six which is going to be very important in the next episode because it carries a lot let's have a look at where we are here 854.75 kilowatts keep an eye on that number we'll be back with it now but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take t2 machine optimizer i'm going to put it right in the middle i have space around for more of them but i can use three energy multiplier fuses and that will increase the energy output 450 percent and that feels like less than it was before but 450 percent is a lot because if we come back here <laughs> i no longer have any power problems at all and i'll never have any more ever again i can build whatever i want awesome that does mean that i will be going upstairs i am i'm producing everything that i need absolutely everything some of it a bit slow but it's being produced 
that means I can start putting the auto crafters in, get this floor set up properly. I'm going to need to go and find myself some common lava somewhere. I haven't, been I haven't really been looking for them because I'm going to need to set up some silk generators. And I'm going to head over here and I'm going to order a couple of very important things. First thing being T2 drone and the next being T2 storage locker. And that's going to cost me 17,000. I have a bit left over, so get some cocoa and wheat. I think I'll get four of each and maybe a cooking station. I'm not going to bother with a smart fabric yet, although I could afford it. But I think that will do for this trip. So launch and we'll have a little bit of money left over. Bye. And uh, then we're going to start using the tier two drones. We're going to start using the tier two lockers. I can get things properly set up, get the final layout sorted out. I'm going to have to run around and do some some cleaning. Yeah, that's going to be good. How the heck did I miss that? Well, we have a star form crate. It has another effigy, which is another different one. Another cool flower and more good stuff. How the heck? I must have flown past this five times minimum. Cool. Well, it's right by the base. It's just on a big rock on the southern end of this lake. <laughs> Fantastic. So there's another one. This has been a fantastic episode. I feel good about myself. So while everything is going really well, I'm going to end it. So if you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave me your comments. Let me know your thoughts and tell me what you think of my progress. I don't know if I've set up the, the crushing facility properly. Um, I'm going to have to check it out. Maybe something I can do with the aluminium. This is running empty, which means that it's being emptied. That's good. This is doing its thing. These are running. I think maybe, yep, the, the drones are just a little bit overworked, but it's not filling up. So everything is is kind of, it's working. I'm going to have to obviously watch it because I feel like there will be something backing up at some point. But there you go. There's the basic setup for the automation of my entire base. Now it's a matter of upgrading things and expanding, and then we can start building the big drills and the big heaters and getting more big tree spreaders basically just increasing everything and in the next episode we are going to get stuck into those portals so we can find more nice stuff so thank you very much for joining me and until next time cheers